It's the Jersey Shores Hit Music Channel. Good morning. We are live at Jenkins' Boardwalk in Point Pleasant Beach. It's Lou and Liz. And Liz, you know, we have been hearing about, reading about, seeing pictures of jellyfish. Yes. That we want to, you know, keep our eyes out for, be, be a little concerned about. Well, here at Jenkins' Aquarium, I mean, we, we learned a lot already today. We're going to learn even more now because Connor has brought out the jellyfish that everyone this season so the infamous is, jellyfish. is concerned about, this right? So And they literally are the size of a spider, like the size of a dime. Well, yeah, yeah, roughly the size of a dime. And you, and you would, if you saw one, you wouldn't even be sure it was a jellyfish. It's, it's hard to even identify, right? Yeah, you'd have to stop and take a close look to really see what it is in the ocean. I mean, they're so little. So what are those? Cool? Clinging jellyfish. Clinging jellyfish. Yeah. Tell us what we need to know about them. You know, I know people are concerned about them. So what do we need to know? Yeah, so it's, um, you know, I hear a lot in the news today that um, they are um, a fairly venomous species and they can cause a lot of problems from severe pain to um, respiratory issues or even uh, kidney issues and whatnot. Um, so what people need to know, so if you're enjoying the beaches like you normally would here at Point Pleasant, it's not a huge concern. These guys, you're not going to find them in waves or anything like that. Um, you're normally going to find them in bays, estuaries. You're going to find them where the water is very calm, you know, not a lot of waves, very soft. So they, they're too afraid of the big waves, so they'll stay in the rivers or the bays. Yeah, they, like they did eel come grass, originally. Right? The eel grass, yes, okay. and seaweeds and whatnot. They like to, well, they're clinging jellyfish, like to cling right on them. But they originally came from the West Coast, and you still haven't figured out how they made their way over here, except somebody brought you the first one that you, that you had, right? Yeah, it is still a mystery how they made it from the West Coast over to the Atlantic in roughly 1890. Um, but yeah, uh, Dr. Paul um, Bologna of uh, Montclair University, him and his research team are working very closely with the DEP, uh, doing research on these guys, finding out kind of what makes them tick, why they're here, um, why they're different. In, when in, they're going away. <laughs> yeah, and hopefully when they're going away as well. Now, there have been, there have been some uh, caught and spotted in the Navasink. Is that right? Yes. Uh, but how about the Barnegat Bay? How about around... There's been some, a couple of the Manasquan River, too. In portions of the Barnegat Bay, um, they have been found. Also, um, Shrewsbury River, you know, they've been found fairly prominent there. Uh, Manasquan River, not so much. I believe we had one specimen, or original specimen was from there. Um, but not nearly an overabundant amount like in other places we found in New Jersey. Well, there's going to be pictures of them up on our website and video as well at 943thepoint.com. Uh, they're, they're really, I mean, I know nobody really wants them around, but they really are intriguing to look at. I guess a little intriguing, easier to look at when, yes. they're in a, when they're in a picture in front of us right here. Yeah, wow, that's really interesting. So I don't know if you can, when they're inside the aquarium, Connor, can you actually see them or are they camouflaged by the leaves and everything? Well, we recently just put them on exhibit, so okay. if anyone is visiting Jameson's Aquarium, you will be able to see them in a small tank of ours. Um, I will say you do have to take a bit of a close look. Like I said, they like yeah. to hide, and you know, and they're not Nearly super obvious. So yeah, it might be on a little bit of a search, but we do have them here for everybody to see. All right, Connor, thank you so much, and uh, thanks for all the info. It's Louis Lee's live, Jacob. Coming out next to Penguins. Point Pleasant Beach, 94.3 The Point.